Good morning, it's Wednesday the 9th of February and this is your Daily Outlook. The euro edged higher as investors' risk appetite increases. Demand for riskier assets starts to rise as tensions in Egypt ease. The euro is also supported by demand from Asian central banks, pushing it as high as 136.88 against the dollar. Data showed German industrial production eased in December, but overall sentiment is that German's economy is strong. Today, the euro continues its upward direction, rising to 136.62, and the pair was last trading at 136.55. Against the Swiss franc, the euro rallied to a two-month high, hitting 131.59. Against the Japanese yen, the dollar ticked higher, helped by a rise in U.S. Treasury yields. The pair rose as high as 82.51 from 81.76 trading yesterday. The Australian dollar dropped after China unexpectedly increased the country's interest rates. The People's Bank of China raised the benchmark one-year rate by 25 base points. The last rate hike in China occurred in December on Christmas Day. China is Australia's largest trade partner and a tight monetary policy in China can hurt the demand for Australia's commodities. After this news on the base point rise, the Aussie fell to 101.14 versus the dollar from 101.88. Today the Aussie is holding above 101.14 and trading in tight ranges at around 101.30. It seems that the market is getting used to rate hikes in China in the country's effort to fight a rising inflation. As long as the rate increases don't substantially affect China's economy, then the negative impact on the market will stay limited. Aussie's neighbour, the Kiwi, plummeted on Wednesday after the country's finance minister, Bill English, said that New Zealand may enter recession again. He said that it's possible the country's growth slowed in the fourth quarter, raising the possibilities of a double-dip recession. The Kiwi edged as low as 0.7704 against the dollar from 0.7786 trading yesterday. Gold rallied yesterday after the unexpected rate hike in China that raised demand for the safe haven metal. The precious metal rose as high as $1,367.90 an ounce from $1,348.35 an ounce. Currencies to watch out for the euro dollar and dollar yen. The euro dollar pivot point is a 136.05, with a preference to enter into long positions at 136.15. The dollar yen pivot point is at 82, with a preference to enter into long positions at 82.05. Today's calendar of market movers, German trade balance in December is forecast to fall to 12 billion, and UK goods trade balance in December is forecast to fall to minus 8.6 billion. Now on to equity markets. US equities were positive yesterday with the SP500 trading up 0.42% and the Dow was up 0.59%. European bursts were positive with the FTSE up 0.67%, the DAX was up 0.54% and the CAC was up 0.43%. At the time of writing, the Nikkei was down 0.17% and the Hang Seng was down 0.64%. This has been your daily outlook. I'm Emma and Joy from the Easy Forex Dealing Room. Have a good day. Not only have you found a great place for Forex news, you found a great place to trade it. Registration is easy. Just click join now. Membership has its unique benefits, such as the freeze rate, the trade simulator, the inside viewer, and personal dealers. Your personal account manager is waiting for you now.